guys welcome back welcome back from the holidays welcome back from your travels <laughs> and we're in 2022 i'm so glad to be here with you too my subscribers you guys have been so amazing and i want to say thank you and congratulations for making it to this new year <laughs> okay so it's been a year that we have looked forward to everybody have plans for this year like everyone want to make money want to buy a car want to build a house name me it's all amazing things i'm sure we all want to do this year and i'm sure that we're getting it done so i've been hearing around everybody wants to apply pressure to doing something amazing or oh, I don't know anything. Everybody wants to apply pressure on you so that they can get results. So I really feel that there is a need for us to distinguish what we really are trying to apply pressure on this year. And one of those things is competing with others. Like some people go as far as talking on social media just to see how that person is doing because they just want to outdo that person. And you don't even know what energy that person has put you know how the person has tried to work on his or herself you know to have that kind of result and you just want to jump on it and just say you want to outdo that person that is not healthy for you the only person you can compete with is yourself that way you can look back i mean when you're thinking about 2022 maybe in 2023 you're going to say wow i've out grown so many things so if you're thinking of competing with others i think you should just take it easy to just don't try to outdo so many things. Just work at your own pace. You're going to do yourself a whole lot of good. Guys, yeah, so another thing I feel that we should not apply pressure on this year is toxic relationship or friendship. Any any form of association that is toxic, I feel that we should not encourage it. Like, do not wish your vibes, do not wish that your positive energy to relationship or associations that a draining to you i mean there are some times that you really want some things to work but at the same time you do not have to force it at the other hand if you feel the person um is not giving you that vibes that you want and you have go you've gone on and on to you know make it positive enough i feel like you should take it slow and just not exert pressure another thing i feel that we should not you know put our oil into it this year it's somebody else's business like please let's try and mind our own business this year if somebody your friend or whoever is telling you something that is nice you know you can't give your own suggestions advice and all but you know if someone is not telling you one thing or the other do not poke nose i mean give people their own sense of privacy if they want to tell let you know about something they will tell you i feel like sometimes you know People tend to poke nose into people's business because they just want to know how far they are doing. No, they want to know if they are doing better than them. So their intentions are not pure. So if you're like that, your intentions are not pure. And that is why you want to know what's happening with somebody else. I think it's just called it some slack, you know. And do not apply pressure. You want to know what's happening with everybody. Like girl, guy, you need to work more on yourself. So no pressure on that. Stay out of everybody's business if you're not invited. If you're invited, you're welcome. But if you're not invited, please walk away. <laughs> All right, that being said, I'm sure you guys will be wondering, okay, so what are we doing this year? What exactly should we put our oil in this year? What are we putting pressure on this year? So right into that, we're applying some more pressure on the amazing things that will give us great results this year. I'm sure you guys like to know what they are guys. Right, so one of those things to really apply pressure on this year 2022 that's what i'm going to do well <laughs> is being a better version of yourself ah, guys you're so going to do yourself so much good i'm going to do myself so much good if i'm being a better version of myself like if you look back in the previous year and you now see that wow i've really grown i've outgrown some things that i used to do and now i feel that i can handle this maturely i can handle this well you know that is so much addition to you there are some habits that you might feel you need to drop so that you can you know move forward there are some things that you do that you know are affecting you negatively that you need to stop this year and that is why you need to apply more pressure 
on yourself, work more on yourself. I don't want to start mentioning things that we do, but you know it yourself. So another thing that we really should apply pressure more this year is making money. Like making profits. I'm sorry, you. Oh, hmm. I'm sure <laughs> some people will say, eh, you like money too much. <sighs> Oh, well, that's part of the thing. Whatever you're doing, you have to make profits. So invest your time more on something that is giving you profits or something that is bringing in income to you. If it's that you need to invest, it's that you need to save, it's that you need to um, build more on some things or some projects, do it. You need to make more money this year. And I'm talking about the legal stuff. I'm not saying go illegal. Yeah, so do it in the right way. So here is something else you need to um, put your own energy on. is loving yourself. If you don't love yourself, I mean, who will? It's the way you carry yourself. It's the way you talk more about yourself. People would, you know, address you like that. So this year, spend more on yourself. I mean, put yourself as the number one priority in whatever you do. Think about yourself first. Well, yeah. And also make sure that you are loving whatever part of you you think, oh, I don't like. I don't like the way I do this. I don't just, um, I mean, physical parts of you. Just try and love yourself more. That way people see you in that light. Apply pressure on spoiling yourself. Like... Take good care of yourself in every aspect, fitness, um, health, spiritually, for everything. Just take good care of yourself because you are your number one priority. So um, I would not skip this because it's very important. Is that you apply pressure on knowing God more this year because I feel that um, when is the beginning of the year, we tend to just slack. And when it was the end of the year, we are all praying, oh my God, I need to see the new year and all of this. And when the new year comes, we just go. But this year, I just want us to try and, you know, be closer to God the more. Just try and improve on that. It will help you greatly in every aspect of your life. The God factor is really, really important. Guys, in summary, just apply pressure on the main things that would improve you, on the main things that will make you one of the happiest persons on earth. Apply pressure to all of that, all right? And do not, you know, give out negative vibes this year. Like, don't you don't even need it for your health you don't need it for people around you they don't need it people are passing through so many things that they don't need you to add to that so guys i just want us to share love and light around us and i hope that we're going to have a swell time this 2022 because i know my subscribers are the best and we're going to be doing amazing and wonderful things together this year so guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a like share and oh my god have you subscribed to this channel yet if you have not just click on the subscribe button all right guys i'll catch you all in any of my videos <laughs> i love you stay safe stay blessed bye, -bye.